February 21st, 2013, and we're doing a 100 minute test on a pocket watch from Japan. But this is about 40 or 50 years old, and I noticed that the arms and the little minute pointers are glowing, so I assumed it might be radioactive, and my hunch was right. 6,000 seconds. I'm getting 17,608 counts. The max count was 45. The average data point is 2.93. So that's pretty high. And there's the map. And I'll show you here. This is. This is it right here. Take this off. And it's actually cool, we got a name to it. It's called Finney Walker. And you can almost see that glow already. And that's the little pouch. And when you pull this back, made in Japan, or the case is made in Japan. And so it's not made in Japan. Oh well, yeah, it is, I guess. It's made exclusively for Finney Walker in Japan. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Look at how the counts are going faster than the seconds. I think we can tell that by your name. Whoa, that's the highest now. Alright, one interesting observation 
I noticed was every 10 minutes there was a there was a pop so, starting here at about 4 14 about 24 34 44 I've got the high one 46 and then here was at about 54 at 104 114 118 so every 10 minutes so I don't know if there's something behind that I don't know what it is but I thought it was an interesting fact to point out It actually goes here, 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 there, boom, 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 boom. February 21st, 2013, and this is the background for the radioactive clock. It's 100 minutes. 6,000 seconds, we got 2,961, a count high, that's an average of 1.49, average data point, All right, first of all, here's a little background on radium clock dials. In the early 1900s, luminescent clock and watch faces featured digits painted using paint, radium paint, the most common version being Undark, created by the United States Radium Corporation. Young women, actually painters of the dials, used to paint their brushes by licking the bristles a practice that resulted in severe radium ingestion, eventually causing facial bone disintegration and other dental problems. Now this is straight from Wikipedia. All isotopes of radium are highly radioactive, with the most stable isotope being radium-226, which has a half-life of 1601 years and decays into radon gas. Because of such instability, radium is luminescent, glowing a faint blue. In nature, radium is found in uranium ores in trace amounts as small as a seventh of a gram per ton of uraniite. Radium is not necessary for living organisms, and adverse health effects are likely when it is incorporated into biochemical processes because of its radioactivity and chemical reactivity. Radium was formerly used in self-luminescent paints for watches, nuclear panels, aircraft switches, clocks, and instrument dials. A typical self-luminous watch that uses radium contains around one microgram of radium. In the mid-1920s, a lawsuit was filed against the United States Radium Corporation by five dying radium girl dial painters who had painted radium-based luminescent paint on the dials of watches and clocks. The dial painters routinely licked their brushes to give them a fine point, thereby ingesting radium. Their exposure to radium caused serious health effects which included sores, anemia, and bone cancer. This is because radium is treated like calcium by the body and deposited in the bones where radioactivity degrades marrow and can mutate bone cells. From the 1960s, the use of radium paint was discontinued. Clocks, watches, and instruments dating from the first of the 20th century, often military applications, may have been painted with radioactive luminous paint. They are usually no longer luminous. However, 
This is not due to radioactive decay of the radium, which has a half-life of 1,600 years, but to the fluorescence of the zinc-sulfur fluorescent medium being worn out by the radiation from the radium, the appearance of an often thick layer of green or yellowish-brown paint and devices from this period suggest a radioactive hazard. The radiation dose from an intact device is relatively low and usually not an acute risk, but the paint is dangerous if released and inhaled or ingested. Under their precautions heading, radium is highly radioactive and its decay product, radon gas, is also radioactive. Since radium is chemically similar to calcium, it has the potential to cause great harm by replacing calcium in bones. Exposure to radium can cause cancer and other disorders because radium and its decay product, radon, emit alpha particles upon their decay, which can kill and mutate cells. At the time of the Manhattan Project in 1944, the tolerance dose for workers was set at 0.1 microgram of ingested radium. Some of the biological effects of radium were apparent from the start. The first case of so-called Radium dermatitis was reported in 1900, only two years after the element's discovery. The French physicist Antoine Becquerel carried a small ampoule of radium in his waistcoat pocket for six hours and reported that his skin became ulcerated. Marie Curie experimented with a tiny sample that she kept in contact with her skin for 10 hours and noted that an ulcer appeared several days later. Handling of radium has been blamed for Curie's death at the age of 66 due to a plastic anemia. Stored radium should be ventilated to prevent accumulation of radon. Emitted energy from the decay of radium also ionizes gases, fogs, photographic emulsions, and produces many other detrimental effects. So, in a nutshell, I believe that this clock is not safe no, no matter what they say. And I can't believe that there's like tons of these things and they're selling them on eBay. And I don't, and none of them even list that it's radioactive whatsoever. So I think these things should be actually pulled off the market. I think these things are dangerous. Luminous paint for clocks was one of the first commercial uses for radium and it was in watch painting factories where the tragic consequences of internal radium exposure were first witnessed. Young women hired to hand paint the numerals would point the paintbrushes between their lips, thereby ingesting the bone-seeking alpha emitter. Many developed devastating lethal cancers of the jawbone. Use of radium paint ceased in the U.S. by the late 1960s, but plenty of old clocks watches, hands, and paint kits remain readily available today. A trip to the flea market or antique shop with a sensitive Geiger counter will often uncover scores of old clocks that used radium. People who collect and repair old timepieces should be aware that the paint is even more dangerous now than when fresh, since it often lost its integrity and formed flakes which can be breathed into the lungs. There is no standard formulation for radium paint. It contained the luminous phosphorus zinc sulfide and a lacquer binder with a bit of radium salt such as radium bromide or sulfite. Timepieces probably averaged about one microcurie apiece. Over the course of time, alpha radiation damages the crystal structure of the phosphor and it ceases to glow. Modern luminous watches do not contain radium. They usually contain H3, tritinium, or PM147, promethium, both weak beta emitters that are much safer. Unlike radium, there are almost no detectable external radiations from these isotopes.
my conclusion on the Finney Walker radioactive pocket clock is if you can't see that this thing is just bursting with radiation take take a look at those charts a little bit more closely and you could just see that there it's just beaming out of the, this clock there's no way in hell that I would want this thing anywhere near me let alone it, putting it next to my uh, my night lamp over there or my nightstand and uh, use it as an alarm clock to uh, wake up in the morning so it's uh, remember this radiation the closer you are to the source the more of the uh, effect that you're going to get out of the uh, intensity of the radiation mm. it's just crazy what they <laughs> the stuff that they put radiation in or radioactive ingredients in our products but I would not feel safe being around these things no matter what they say that it may be safe so uh that's just my humble opinion and do what you want with it background finney walker clock background finney walker clock background finney walker clock background finney walker clock